tutorial on subroutine calls and the effect uh, and the implementation in the stack. Okay. Register. Our IP is at 100 and I'm going to insert some code there. I'm going to assemble some code. We're going to do a jump to address 200 and then we're going to do a call to address 200. Whoops, quit. The jump will change the IP and go to address 200. The call is calling a subroutine and it will go to also, it will also do a jump to 200. What's the difference between the two? Let's find out. If we execute the first one, okay, right now our IP is 100. We're going to execute the first instruction here. Whoop. And if you notice and compare all the registers, the only thing that has changed is the IP. The IP has changed from 100 and now we have jumped to the location offset in the code segment of 200. Just note that the stack has not changed. So the purpose of a jump, and in particular a JMP, is an unconditional change control flow, change in the IP to the given address. Okay. What does a call instruction do? That calls a subroutine. Let's change our IP back to 103. 103 because that's where the call instruction is. So I'm going to fake it and I'm going to pretend that we've, we've jumped. Again, I'm using the power of the debugger. Whoops. Register IP. Now put in 103. Okay, if I display all my registers, my IP is there. And the instruction that we're going to execute now is a call to a subroutine. Execute that. Again, just like the jump, nothing changes in all the registers except now our IP is at 200. Just like the jump, we went to address 200. What's different is that our stack pointer has changed. Our stack pointer has been decremented by 2. It was E, which is 14, and now it's C, which is 12. So it's been decremented. A word has been put on the stack, and that word contains the return address. When we're inside this subroutine, currently we're inside some subroutine, and we're going to do some code, which we haven't written yet, Okay, but when we're finished with that code, we're supposed to go back to where we were. And where were we? Well, we were at, when we were calling it, we were calling the subroutine. So when we want to get back, we don't want to go to address 103. We want to go to the address after, which is 106. Okay, so let's look in our stack. Display stack segment FFEC. FFEC. And in fact, we do have the return address offset of 0106, the instruction following the call instruction. Now, the only the way that we can do that is if we actually do a RET, a return from subroutine. So we have to write a bit of code. But now notice, I'm going to put the code at 200 because that's where our subroutine, our fake subroutine, is located. It's at address 200 because that's where we jump to. And we could put all kinds of code calculating the square root of something or other, but we're going to make it a very simple and short subroutine. And as soon as we get in the subroutine, we're going to do a return from subroutine. Okay? Now, this return will only work if ahead of time on the stack it has the return address. Fortunately, we've done that. We when we called here our stack was our stack pointer was decremented and the return address was put on the stack. So notice we're going to when we execute, I'm going to execute this instruction. I'm going to because my IP is at 200, I'm going to do a return for subroutine. What you want to watch is that our IP should go back to where we came from, which is address 106, and our stack pointer should be incremented it, because the return address has been popped from the stack, so we should see it go back to FE. Okay, watching. Watching. 
IP. We're now at the instruction following our call and our stack pointer has indeed gone back. Our stack is now empty again. Okay, so to review, to just assemble, unassemble, we at address 100 we had the jump, okay, just to demonstrate the difference. We did a call to a subroutine and we came back to where we came from. Okay. And that's how call instruction works in conjunction with the return instruction is that the stack is used to store the return address. Thank you.